everyone it's the Kenny Crafter I am here with some old Christmas cards some dies and we are going to make new Christmas cards and these Christmas cards came from my best crafting buddy Gina of Perfectly Imperfect Journals I will link her down below so let's just dive straight into it um let's just take this first card for example Um, again, we need the big good eye. I don't know, that doesn't fit either. What else we got? I don't think the tree would fit. No, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to cut this out. Because you can just do that as well. Around the corners. Just got my little my little bin for my bits. Maybe there's one element done. <laughs> and because this is like a tree, I was thinking about using these. Right, I always find a bit of washi tape to hold these in place. And what can we do out of the bottom there? How does this tree fit? No. It's just a matter of auditioning your dies. Always do part of dies as well, don't forget. Yep. So we have that. Just thought I'm gonna line them up and move that out of the way for now. This isn't something I would normally use, but something like that out of this to get some more tape out. This is the first washi tape I ever bought and it's never been <laughs> sticky, so it's perfect. I am this sort of thing. Yeah, I think I would use that dye multiple times on the Oh, this is gorgeous. I think that would also require that dye. Yeah. <laughs> that either just because it's snooty but people like I know it's bigger in America snoopy so it's peanuts isn't it I think I'd probably just cut that out. I'm doing that off camera because I'm so lazy about bringing this little bin in. Right, so we'll have that. Okay, that's going to go with that die. 
Ooh, this is gorgeous. The tree's too big. They. Good card blank, we'll keep that. Yep, where did I put that tape? <laughs> where did I put the tape? Did I put it in the bin? Sometimes I do that. I don't know. I found it in the lab. Roll of tape. I don't really like religious stuff. No offence to anybody who is religious, but not my style. I do, however, think that would be cute out of that. Okay. This is just gorgeous as is, but I feel like I could make the tree a bit smaller. We could get all oh, these dies are going to end up all over the place, aren't they? So just cut Merry Christmas out of that and then up here let's get rid of these plastic bullets for now that would be nice that would be nice I'm going to lose dies. <laughs> the bow would be cute. Oh, this card is just giving everything, isn't it? A little parcel. A little bow in green. A greeny gold over there. Oh, I found the other tape. <laughs> I'm wondering if that star, that snowflake. And then we would cut Merry Christmas off the bottom of that. I feel like that's just adorable as is. Look at this. And we could add other, other, other stuff to it, but as it stands, I feel like. Oh, I don't know, I just wanted to make it smaller. And corner around it because that's just what I do. And I feel like I want to cut the tails on that. I don't know where my little scissors are because I've made it smaller. I mean, we may get rid of the bowl completely. Yeah, there's an element we could use. Okay, let's put that over there with the other stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh. as background paper okay let's cut it in half let's do half as background paper when i say half I, no i don't know i'll do it in half 
So I'll do half this background paper. And then this other half. See, I've lost the one I replaced this one with. I mean, I don't know what this was. <laughs> and then no, I don't want the tag. you should do you know when you have four cards sometimes they have a little design on the back and then that one doesn't so we're good then in this one i'm thinking one of these circles oh that is adorable Also, get a circle out up there. We're gonna lose the poochie pie, but for some reason, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. And obviously, once I've cut these out, I might come back and cut out more bits out of them, more elements. Oh no didn't take very well, did it? Okay, see if we could use this as well. Right, will this fit on the card I have? It will. Right, I did not know that. So we could get the dog in. Okay, no, I like that like that. I mean, how do we feel about just that much of Santa? I don't think I do. I'll tell you what, we could get out of this though. We don't even have to use Santa at all. Adorable as Santa is. I might just be able to do something like this. I keep losing that end of my day. It's annoying us. Your Christmas is as jolly as a holiday can be. That is not a sentiment we were getting in England because we don't really call it a holiday. I don't know why. That's a, a holiday is a very American term. I have this in. Them. A gonk gnome thing. No, I don't actually know what I want to do with that one yet. So we'll put that back in the pile. That one's that one's puzzle on us. Oh, these are gorgeous. This whole card. I think this has been like tea dyed, maybe. No, I don't want it with it in case I do damage. I'm gonna put it. Why 
Do my vines not look strange? I'm not really a fan of the sentiment piece on earth. Again, it's a whole biblical thing. I just, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to empty my bin soon. What size was I using? The big size. Gorgeous though, and can we use? I feel like I need to keep all of that. <laughs> okay, one more card, and then we'll get the die cut. Have these. I've gone out of this. Yeah, we're trying to be that way, and a bit skewy. But that's okay. But then I want this beard and his nose and something else. What if he had a, a candy nose? Can you say I'm even sounding American? A sweetie nose. And look at this. This is gorgeous. So American. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's going to be the beard. Okay. Right. Let's get to a cutting. So, oh, push everything that way. I will do this off camera and I'll be back. So I have all those cut out and I've pulled in the things where I'm just sort of cut out with the paper trimmer. Um, actually, I'm not going to use that whole punch. It's getting a bit temperamental. Okay, so these are some of the stuff I've pulled out that we have left. So, if I just... The straight edge is over here. I feel like I might get some more out of this. These little bits can be cute to go behind things. Just add some layer and dimension. Little circles, can't go wrong with little circles. I think we have used that card to its maximum. <laughs> Especially by the time I do this. I also emptied my bin. I just then corner around and give them a polished look. Okay, I cut out the, the gonk is not working. I'd put something else out. I'm just hoping. use that a little bit somewhere I don't know again just corner around and off camera because I can't be bothered to pull the bin in <laughs> doesn't even have to be a whole circle and just be part of the circle I think we're gonna get the maximum out of this as well
if you've got pre-made sentiments, utilise them, is what I say. Is that it? No. We have... magic out of that and I can get those two stockings out of that and then this was the card I pulled in to do the little norm rectifier Yeah, I'm gonna have this. I was wondering about some circles. No to that one. Okay. Need a card blank. I'm going to scoot all this over. Oh, I did break media as well, taking it out of the die. You got wedged. But we're going to make that work. Okay. I just sort of like to layer things up. So we'll start by trimming this down. So yeah, just hit my light. Actually, keep that. I've got an idea for that. Corner around. Let's empty the bin. I'm just going to do a little one. I'm not just going to go on there like so. I don't think it makes much difference, does it? It's getting free. Now, I don't need any words because we have the words. I'm going to put that over there. Don't like the deer. Parsley thing wasn't. Hang on, let's try and lay these out a bit. I have the bows. That bow's a bit blendy. That one's the same colour, so I'm wondering. With that, like so. I feel like I 
I want something behind that. I just feel like that paper's a little small. Actually, if I cut this down a bit, paper trimmer is over here. I think that's what this is. Part of the problem for me is the length. It was a smaller parcel, I remember putting it out. You know what, the, the parcel isn't working. There needs to be something going this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna spread it all this time. Wrong colour. Okay, let's do this. I keep going up there for my paper trim, I'm gonna put it over there for easier access. this on the other side but I think it's too busy yeah let's see now that we can get a proper look at this Let's hope my glue works. Sound a little bit crooked, but there you are. That's why I'm preferring wet glue at the minute. I think I am going to put it to one side, but I'm going to pop it up if I can find it. I am um, buried. I pulled them out so I would remember to use them, and then they got buried. So these are non stick scissors, these are from X Cut. You could use put stick, uh, a glue stick for this. You could use double sided tape. But as I say, the double sided tape, if you lay it down a little bit skew, if you, you're not going to get the time to put it right. And then, as we all know, Jemmy's makes everything posher. So I'm hoping this my little pieces are in here and we'll go for this like goldy colour. Just put them in all four corners.
Now, if you don't have trust issues with your gems, you could just stick these straight down, but mine are so old, I don't trust the stickiness. So I just add a little dab of PVA. Of course, they're going to stick to everything on, since I've said that. And I think we'll do two down here. And get them in the line. And as I said, my idea from this little stray is I always find cards seem a little bit posher. If the envelope coordinates with them. <laughs> if we just do this. And another two little jammies. And you're going to have a card and coordinating envelope, which just instantly elevates it, I think. And you can obviously put a sentiment in there. I put that on Wonky as well, haven't I? Oh, well. <laughs> Another card flank. I really want to use this. So I did pull out some papers these are from Poundland a few years ago I feel like this is the one to go with that what does the sentiment say oh yeah that's beautiful I still feel like I need to back this but what is it called? Oh god, me guys. What is it called? Oh. Matting. Wow, I put that completely wrong. <laughs> oh, there's another sheet. There is. It's because I was so busy worried about the word matting. Do you want a bit where I can see it? So again, we're going to keep that, we'll trim that down there. I'm going to be all out of this green card. I think I may have to order some card. If you wanted to be savvy with your card, you could die cut something out the centre of it. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to mat that as well under there. I do love this. That's probably why I've been hoarding it. But you know what? It's just card and that side is not worthy for this project. It's 
too busy. We need the pulling. Let's pop you. Do I want to pop you up or have you flat and pop you up? Okay, let's stick this on here for now so we can cut this out. And we'll see what one's popping away. And when I say pop, I just mean using the foam tape. I think I want to pop both. I hope I have more foam tape. And you can get the tape in like squares, circles, not necessarily just on a roll. Ah, ah we have no. What a relief. Oh, we would have had to have gone old fashioned. Oh, yeah. So, if you don't have foam tape, you know your card scraps, just cut them up and stack them up. Obviously, we need jammies. I'm thinking the gold or. Tiny pearls. Oh, I think you need to have a pearl up there and a pearl down there. I lost my tweezers. I need my tweezers. I don't lost them. Did I put them back? I did. That's the first time that's ever been done. And then I think Muse needs some gold. Oops. Stick where I put you. stick down a gem that's not even there okay and then for the envelope I'm just gonna take a little sliver of this Try you get your envelope the right way round. And then for this one to match the card, I'm going to do the pearl in the middle. And a gold either side. Mm. 
And then there you have the card and coordinating envelope. Okay, let's do one more because I feel like this video is going to be long. Whoops! Let's try and do like a, a collage effect of stuff. What about just like that? Something in the background. I don't know if I want to go with a pattern paper. So I want to do some card. These are my paper choices that I've pulled out. There's some more somewhere. I couldn't tell you where. I just think they're all going to be a bit busy and a bit colourful. I mean... You know why these are left? Because they're not my favourites. I mean, that's cute, but again, too busy. Okay, I think I spy the other one I pulled out. Again, though, not my favourite. Maybe if there's a snowflake left. Yeah. It's the black, I just, but it might work on this one. No, the black does not work. I'm sure I pulled out one more pad. Right in front of my face. I don't even think it's been opened. Well, it must have been because I don't feel like all of the papers on there are in here. I could have to match something else under it just because these six by six papers are a bit short Do I have a red card? That is the problem. Hold on, the red was hiding. As is my pencil. I'm working in order chaos. I wish I could be one of those neat crafters. And then I just think I've got to tidy all this up. You know, I said this is the last part. I might have to just make another one now that I found this red. <laughs> Again, I need the pen because I can't find the pencil. Remember, 
we're going to keep that. We're going to coordinate with envelope. the glue it's all right there was a brief moment of oh no and then i would have had to have pulled out the double sided tape oh that's why there wasn't as much paper in there as i thought it's double sided <laughs> was anybody else seeing that there was i'll oh, see now i quite like this I didn't put you down, did I? I think you need to under that. You're going to be popped up. We'll just get this. A little bit up here, and then I can throw this roll away. It's not where I wanted it. want that Merry Christmas now actually because it just seems a little big yeah I prefer this that's going to be a bit wide so this is where I normally bring in little squares It's just exactly the same. It's just pre-cut into little squares for you. Saves you some time. And then an envelope. Oh, we didn't do gem easy either. I feel like you're on the gold ones. this brings the blue in maybe that's what it was maybe there wasn't enough blue Bin. Okay, so now we're going to take a slither of this. Cut it. Stick it. I'm just going to do two. I'm 
again. Ah, how does call me, Jamie? Coordinating. Card and envelope. Okay, one more. May not be the one. It would fit that way. <gasps> I would stamp that instead. In the film. You know what you can do with these? You can cut them in half. It's not working for you. Just cut them in half. We're getting an important step. Right, let's go back through all the double sided papers. So I said I like the Christmas tree. But I think it might be too busy. just getting busier maybe one of the black and what the black ones would work on here too busy there was that snowflake. I feel like I don't want that sentiment. Oh yeah, I'm just thinking. Let's let's redesign this whole thing. Could 
because you could always stamp something on that. Put that tree down. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why this one's so difficult. I kind of just like stamp that like that, you know. And then That's meant to turn the snowflakes. Just because there's a weird bit cut out with that that I'm trying to disguise. What about just that? I think I want to do that. Okay, I'll have to mark this paper on the back because black pen on black paper. It's not going to be very good, is it? to be simple What are we popping up on here? Is the question you want me? You. get stuck down you can get stuck down and you probably should have used the three in one it'll stick eventually and then berries up here so let's put some big red sequins Is that the only sick ones I want? I think it, and it will do one. I feel like I have little white ones. Yes, I do. Just in the snowflake. Give you a bit of pizzazz. I also have these stars. Take the form off. Ooh. I'm liking the stars. I feel like you would need three though.
yeah probably should use the three in one for this as well but let's see how the pva goes And then let's not forget the coordinating envelope. Oh, mind me stars. We'll do two white and a red. Ta -da! Okay, I'll have a quick tidy up and show you what we're working with so these are the four cards with coordinating envelopes made from our old christmas cards i still have some stuff to play with oh i like it i think i think that one's my favorite actually even though i, I was like I, d I don't like that paper i think it's that's cute so yeah and just to match an envelope I think it just elevates them, as do jemmies. I'm always saying, if you want to make something look better, stick a jemmy on it. <laughs> if I did merch, something like that would be on a t-shirt, I'm sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it's offered you some inspiration. Um, I mean, when you think about it, you don't even really need the pattern paper. You could just use coloured card and stamp on it. Oh, I didn't get the stamps out, you see. Maybe that's for next time. I have some scraps as well to play with. So yeah. I've just found that actually came out of the bag. Um, so yes, I had fun. Enjoyed this. I'm gonna make some more. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other Christmas card videos. I think they're slightly better. <laughs> I was having a bit of a brain fade today, I'm tired you see, but I did have fun and we got there in the end and it's just nice and fun to play and that jemmy shifted but the glue's drying. Ah. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye!